This is a demo provided by Simple Intranet for the Simple Files plugin. So the first thing you want to do is install the plugin and insert the short codes and you will see a page such as this. You have two short codes available. The main Simple Files short code is simply file enclosed in square brackets and with a simple internet uh, membership you get a, a file search add-on another plugin which allows you to um, search your media attachments so let's go back to the main page of the simple files plugin so what you'll find is uh, first a menu which allows you to upload files create folders uh, view a shared folder when other people share files with you and set file permissions as well as email sending options and some other options. So let's start by uploading a file. Uh, Simple Files allows you to upload files locally or from your media library. So we will start by just choosing one from our media library. And a confirmation will tell you when it has been uploaded. Now I'm in, I'm logged in as an admin right now and what I can do is I can set up folders and I can drag files into that folder and create permissions so that um, certain files can only be accessible for certain roles within uh, WordPress. You can set up roles through the Simple Files plugin uh, or through the simple intranet plugin under uh, users and groups. So if we look at our admin folder and we open it up we'll see we have our file there. Um, going back to the main file area we can highlight the folder and select permissions. So currently I'm logged in as the administrator and I have full rights to this folder. Copy, create, delete, download, rename, share, and view. You can choose any custom or standard WordPress role and you can edit uh, the access to it. So for subscribers for example I might want only subscribers to be able to download and view but not share, rename, delete, copy, or create folders. And these can be updated. You can update the permissions that way. There is also uh, a method of um, editing the actual permissions based on role as a default. So if you want, for example, all subscribers to have a certain set of permissions by default, you can do that. Um, I'm just heading into the Simple Files menu here. We've got default MIME types for uploading files. Um, you can adjust the maximum upload file size but I'm also going to go into the user roles section where you can actually edit the file capabilities relating to file uploads. So currently the default for subscribers is to allow them only to view and download but you can s change these defaults and update the role as you wish. Um, here this is an important uh, distinction you can um, replace all files or folder level permissions for this role with new defaults meaning if you've already assigned permissions by file or full folders you can override them by adding new capabilities and hit update to the role here if you were to uncheck upload files um, you can prevent subscribers for example from being able to upload anything um, and and by the same token you can also allow them access to the media library so they can view the media library of uploaded files um, but currently both of those options are uh, disabled for subscribers so if we go back to the uh, file management front end you can see that we have just a single admin um, folder and we've set the permissions you can rename it delete it um, you can also share by email uh, that folder. 
I'm just going to show you the options here. Um, so for, for file sharing, you can customize the name, email, subject, and body. You can also change the sort order for the first column, uh, second column, and third. You can sort firstly by name, um, ascending or descending, and choose similar defaults for the second and third column. And then head back to home and see your files. Um, sharing is enabled if I wanted to share this by hitting the link. Um, and if sometimes if you misclick a link, um, you can uh, you get a warning. So I can share these uh, e files or folders by emails, just separate with commas. Um, it's also fully drag and drop capable, so if there's multiple folders, you can drag files into a folder, you can do multiple file deletes, as well as multiple file uploads. So I uh, hope that was uh, helpful and uh, contact us at simpleinternet.org with any questions.